I'm Max Sterling. Welcome to LARPgasm. So I said I'd show you how to make a sheath for that knife also. So what I do is I got a piece of pleather, okay? I have some laying around because I used to do furniture, uh, so it's all new stuff. So I just cut myself a piece, just laid the blade down, folded this over, made sure I had enough to make a pocket for it. And then I have a grommet press I'm going to use. Now if you don't have this, you can buy grommets at any store like Walmart, Joan Fabrics, Michaels, and you can hammer them by hand but if you have a press it makes it so much easier you just take the grommets you put the ooh, you put the one that sort of has a little knob on it on top you take the washer and you put it on the bottom make sure your fabrics lined up pick what sort of distance you want to have between Make sure everything is nice and lined up. And then press down. And that's basically it. Now all I need to do is just continue down the line, equal spacing, stay in a straight line. And when I'm done, I'll be able to put my knife right in there. So I added that paracord like I said I was going to, and then when this is all done, I'll just slide right in there like that, and then I'll make a way to attach this to my belt or my costume, and when I'm ready, I can just pull it out. So pretty easy to make a sheath for that. And if you've been following along, then you may end up with something like this. So what we're going to do here now you could use it just like this you don't need to do anything fancy i mean if you just want to do one side you could just run some cord through one side even though it's not necessary because these grommets are going to hold this pleather in place but i would suggest stitching it anyways just for the aesthetic value i did both sides because i'm going to stitch this up like a shoe uh, so that it actually folds over in on itself like this i think it's going to make it look a bit cooler as far as putting the grommets in this is post-apocalyptic, do not measure, eyeball it. Now, if you have limited fabric and stuff like that, you may want to measure, but if you are not concerned about fabric and stuff, then go ahead and eyeball it, because in the wasteland, you're not gonna be sitting there with a tape measure and shit measuring this out, you're gonna eyeball stuff. So just eyeball it in, get it as good as you can. So if things run over and stuff like this, that's okay. We're gonna be genreing this thing up anyways, making it look you know worn down with some sandpaper and stuff. So don't be afraid if it looks kind of crappy. We're not trying to make a quality item here. We're trying to make it look crappy. So get this set up and then basically, it's gonna be just like stitching a shoe. You'll use your 550 paracord to stitch it up with. Uh, we want to use the 550 because it will give it sort of like that military, paramilitary vibe to it. Also, you know, it's good in a survival situation just in case, and uh, it'll help to look the part as opposed to using like shoelace or something. So use the 550. It's cheap. Uh, just go to the store and get it at Walmart. You can buy a bunch of it. It's fairly inexpensive. If you <clears throat> haven't ever cut it before, when you cut it, it's going to be sort of frayed. So you want to get a lighter and you're going to want to melt the end of it so that it seals itself so that this outer portion doesn't separate from the inner white portion. So be sure that you seal this up before you go pushing it through. Now, if you run into a situation like I am here where it's too big to fit through the hole, and I run into this situation often, then you may need to either trim this down or I'll just take a hammer and actually hammer it a little bit to sort of crush this plastic down a little bit. Uh, you could also use pliers, whatever you want to do to make it fit through the hole. And then we'll go and stitch it up. So now you can do, you know, whatever you want to with this, you know, and this gets rough down here. I mean, if I, you know, taking time, stitch this up, rolled it over and stuff, that'd be one thing. But, you know, I wouldn't be doing that if I was in the wasteland. So this is how I wanted it to look. So, I mean, this looks pretty cool from, you know, the outside. Once I get some dirt on there, spray paint this, rough it up a little bit, won't be a big deal. Now, 
you know, obviously we have a lot left over, that's fine. If you want to, you can leave a little bit left over. If you want to, you know, try to tie this, you know, off to keep it in, in the sheath or whatever you want to do. I mean, that's going to make it difficult to, to draw it. But if you want to leave a little bit of excess, you know, for whatever reason, you can. Now, as far as attaching this to a belt or whatever, well, you can attach it using this string right here, which is probably what I will do. And then when you pull it out, there's your sheath, put it back in. Now, because this isn't, you know, like hard leather, when you're putting it back in, you're going to have to hold this and sort of, you know, assist it on its way in. But, you know, it'll stretch out over time. Made it a little bit too tight the first time, but that's okay. You just back the strings out a little bit and, uh, you know, adjust it up. Because this is soft leather, in time it'll sort of, you know, loosen up anyways. But for right now, that's pretty nice. I'm, uh, I'm really digging the whole overall aesthetic here of the blade. You know, my cheesy sheath that I made for it. And, uh, yeah, if that's something you're interested in doing, suggest giving it a go. I mean, some scrap fake leather I had, some 550 paracord and some grommets, and, you know, I'm good to go. As far as uh, making this genre, like I said, you can watch some of my other videos, but essentially, sandpaper, rub it on here, rough this up, get some spots on it. Uh, probably furniture polish I will use, and that'll make dark spots on it. Uh, if you want to, you can spray the vinegar solution on these grommets to rust them up, but, you know, it's entirely up to you how far you want to go with it. So. That's how to make the sheath for this thing. If you like this video, please click like, subscribe to my channel. I have plenty of reviews and all kinds of LARP content, and I don't plan on slowing down anytime soon. You know if you've been watching my channel, you know, it's at least one video, but more realistically, it's like two or three videos a week that I'm putting out. So I intend to try to keep up you know, the pace as long as I can. As far as uh, the subscription, if you want to be notified when my videos come out, click the little bell. If you don't click the bell, it won't tell you when they happen. Uh, you can check me out on Twitter. Uh, I post on there, you know, infrequently, but I always post on there when there's new videos going up on my channel. And uh, if you have anything to comment, you know, or any questions, please feel free to do so below. I'm pretty good at answering them. And uh, I appreciate you watching my show. And uh, as always, Adventure on. Time for lunch with Max. Boom. Boom. Kalima! Kalima! Stop, Dine! <laughs> You're not ready! <laughs> oh, yeah! <clears throat> I can't tell if this is hot yet. There's all kinds of bubbles, but is it hot? Hey, Brittany, come clean this shit up!